Hey there everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome to the Mysterious Library. So this is the new adventure map I'm starting uh, after I ended the Downwards Adventures map. Uh, this map is was created by Intelligic, and uh, you can find this the the this map in the uh, at the same place that I linked for the last map. So and. Uh, I don't know why that oh, it was telling me I needed to get that stupid achievement. Um, and the thumbnail that I'm using in the title card and stuff, the image came, comes in a pack that comes with uh, the adventure map, so that's what I'm using. So uh, thanks to Intelligic for that and the game. So here we go. I do have it set on Peaceful, which is what we're supposed to play in, and don't destroy anything, which I don't know if we even can. I think this is in adventure mode, so... Uh, and make sure we have the resource pack installed, which we do. So we should be good to go. Learn how to play. Check out the red zones. Did you remember to install the resource pack? Yes, I did. Levers, switch, levers slash switches unlock doors that have the same symbol. Okay, so the iron doors actually don't... Don't look the same. They look more like normal doors. Symbol. Symbol. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> as sad as that is. Some bookcases can be searched to find items. Searchable is missing books, and normal is not. So there's a book. So read the rules and follow them. There are 384 score crystals on the map. Wow. <laughs> Six stacks of 64. Ooh, bread. Let's read the rule book and then we'll see about the bread. Greetings! Just going to cover some of the rules that you might have seen on the download page. This book will also include the tips that you saw in the spawn room. What spawn room? Rules, play on peaceful, be in adventure mode. I think this is already in adventure mode, I don't know. Uh, don't destroy anything. Make sure you have the resource packs installed and selected, I do. This map is made to be playable in both single player and multiplayer. All puzzles, challenges are multiplayer safe. Enjoy exploring, there are many secrets to be found. Uh, we're, we're not going to read the tips, we're going to just go with it. Taking the bread. We're going we're gonna to take that book with us too. As far as I know, this was the spawn room. Maybe I missed something. This is where it spawned me, so I don't know. When you are ready, walk here. I suppose we are ready to get this show on the road. Whoa! <laughs> well, there's the exit. Book returns, okay. That ain't creepy. It's Steve's head. So it looks like we can go in here carpeting. Perception. So this map is supposed to be all about exploring. Look, it's score crystals. We're going to take those books, too. Okay, apparently we can't go through that door. Okay, so this is outside. That door opens. Crafting bench in there. Holy cow. Well, I have to admit that I, I've kind of been excited to start this. I decided I was going to do this map a while ago, and it looked pretty interesting. So, uh... Yep. So we can't break blocks, so I'm thinking that if we want to go through this, we have to actually go through the web like this. I don't know what that opened, but I may have screwed things up because I didn't have the resource pack installed correctly. I don't know. Um, before, because I installed it after I loaded the map, so that may screw things up, so I suck if that's the case. Okay, so that opened this door here, because we found the magic symbol. Oh, I should probably try and pay attention to these bookshelves, huh? 
Let's see, all of these look like normal bookshelves. I'm assuming things covered by vines can't won't be available to be looked in. Since I'm not supposed to break stuff. Alright. And that is a switch. Whoa. <laughs> it's dispenser clava. Well, we found a bed. Cook a bat. 101. <laughs> Marvin's note. Some torches. Ways to cook a bat. Written by survival. Spit roast commonly used throughout the centuries. Spit roast is the simplest method of cooking your bat. First, be sure to clean and remove the hair off of your bat, including the wings before mounting it on a stick. Once fully prepared, hold the bat over a hot fire, rotating every two to three minutes to ensure that evenly cook it's evenly cooked. Wow, pan fried. Boiled. Char grilled. Char grilled traditional. Ender grilled? Also known as harassing Enderman. This method requires the use of an Enderman's glowing eyes and large and a large sharp blade. Holding the Enderman hostage, hold the breast of the bat up to the Enderman's eyeball in about forty eight hours your bat should be ready to eat. <laughs> it may have a tendency to teleport out of your stomach. <laughs> Glowstone gaze. Glaze. Nether roasted. Electric zap bat. Dynamite. Creepomite. Oh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me. The rest of the book is missing. <laughs> That was kind of weird, I have to admit. We're going to take it with us, though. They're gone off to the forest to fend for their lives. I was never one for the outdoors. I'll stay here as long as I can. Food-wise, I'm running pretty low. Then again, thankfully, I happen to be in one of the largest libraries in existence. Who knew that there were 101 ways to cook a bat? Oh, well, might need a new book. Finished off the last of my bat stew this morning. <laughs> I'm going to head down to the sewers again tonight, maybe find some more bats. Okay, so you can find bats down in the sewers, apparently. Uh, we'll take this stuff, but I don't... I don't know if we're going to have a use for them or not. It's a bed. Aw, uh, I took a nap. I don't know if you're supposed to take a nap, but I did anyway. Okay, we're stealing these so I don't have to be shot again. Alright, so there's sewers somewhere. Learned that much. And that this is apparently the largest library in existence. I think it's running into some trouble. Just saying. We have some torches, but I'm going to hang on to them because I'm not sure. So we just, we straight up can't get up this staircase right now, it looks like. Eggs. Library egg showcase. Fact one. Okay, that's kind of cool. Fact two. Fact two. Because of fact one, this leads us to believe that all animals are both monotremes and ovoviviparous. Okay. Fact three. Scientists are yet to discover where these eggs actually originate from. Just like the creation of man, it is a mystery. Fact four. Despite their existence, no animal other than the few expected have actually been seen laying an egg. 
this is awesome. This is a commentary on the, how weird it is that everything in Minecraft comes from eggs. <laughs> if you've never explored Minecraft in the um, creation in creation mode, there is a tab where you can spawn whatever mobs you want through the use of eggs. So that's pretty entertaining. Zombie head. I don't know if there's monsters in this one. Um, so I could get eaten. I probably will get eaten, to be honest. Look, more books. So basically, we have to keep an eye out for bookshelves that aren't quite the same as the others and are missing... missing p books. I'll probably walk by a lot of them, I will be honest. Because I'm pretty bad about remembering to pay attention to stuff like that. Hmm. Not really sure where we should go. I guess we'll explore in here a little bit. Like I said, I'm not sure if there are monsters that will spawn in this or not, or if this is more just straight up exploration, but I expect to get the crap scared out of me and probably be blown up at some point, because that's kind of an inevitability for me. Nether brick? What the hell is that? Oh, more score crystals. What is that opening? There's another bookshelf. So the other difference I just noticed is this book is purple, which is not which is normally red. Because if you look at that one, it's red there. This one's purple, and there's missing books, so that's a better indicator even. So I'm not sure why that redstone torch ain't working. I'm also not sure what is getting opened by that switch. So there's another brick thing. That purple indicator is a way better way of noticing. It rotated. Okay, so I'm not sure what what is up with this. Look outside. Let's keep checking around here. Water. Okay, so there's a door that we can't open. There's a chest in there. It looks like you can get down in there from somewhere, so... Oh, not all of them are purple, though. Ah, only one side is purple. So I am going to still have to pay more attention than I would like to. Crystals. Up to 20 points. Yay me. Alright, so we're going to try... Okay, so I can't open that one either, so we need to figure out what this is opening. So... I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not going to mess with this because I don't know if I should, so. Secret room unlocked. Okay. Found a bunch of score crystals that time. Look through here real quick. I'm just try and make sure I'm not walking by any bookcases that are.
Okay, so that was messing with that, it seems like, since it's not doing anything now. Oh, and this one lit up now. Okay, so it has to do with that door, it looks like. Okay, well, that's this wing so far, anyway, as far as we can access at the moment. Archives. So to access the archives, we need to find the lever with the bookcase in it. No, we can't go in that door. In the staff room. Go in that door, too. Alright, that is... This is the one hallway. Wow. The staff room looks like it has seen better days. Yeah, there's no reason to mess around with this still. I imagine we can get in there somewhere. Okay, so that's that's what that is, I bet. Some of these that have lights that are off, I'm guessing mean that the door is locked and you can't get into it, but I could be wrong. Cuz like here I don't I don't know what I'm talking about, never mind. All right. Okay. It's starting to get pretty dark over here. The vault. So we have to find the switch that would activate the vault, huh? And we've got other floors, so we also... Haha! -ha. Score crystals! for this episode and we will continue our quest and maybe we'll figure out what the hell we're supposed to do I kinda feel like I've hit a dead end now cause I'm not sure I've gotta be missing something somewhere which I'm sure I am cause I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer a lot of the time Like, I'm not sure what the hell the point of this water in here is. It seems like there should be a point to that. Okay. Aha! Alright. So next time, we will uh, pick up right here. So as always, take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.